listening to Life Under the Laundry Pile, airing it all out one conversation at a time. This is Copper. This is Heather. And um, together we are two Ooh. massive idiots. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're Life Under the Laundry Pile. Yay. In the trenches. Right. This is episode um, 14. 14. Yeah, so we're getting there. So um, you're going to be let in on a little secret today. We do record a couple episodes at a time, so we just recorded 13 in this one too. But when I'm still hacking away and you're like, Jesus, that girl is still (laughs) ill, you know that it's the same day. That was literally like 20 minutes ago to us. So Mm. I'm, God, I hope that by the time you hear this, I'm better. Oh, yeah, you will be. You will be. That's a while. So, yeah, we do it in the essence of time. So, yeah, it's, you know, as much fun as this all is, it is a little time consuming, but we do it because we enjoy it. It might be less time consuming if we had our shit together. <laughs> we like to chit chat way before we even right. start recording, which, you know, is our and downfall. Then we have to have a lot of pee breaks. Yeah. We had a chocolate break. Which was very good, by the way. Yeah. Moose. Uh, I took two pieces. Copper's like, you got two pieces, by the way. And I was like, no way. They're like paper thin. Back off my chocolate. (laughs) It was just funny what you said. You're like, you got two pieces, by the way. I was like, what? Okay. I already licked it or I'd give it back to you. No, I didn't want it back. Yeah, I already licked it. It's got your germs on it. Mm -hmm. I got enough germs. Yeah, you do. (laughs) I'm like a Target bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) No, a Walmart bathroom. Uh, I don't know. The pits. Our Target bathrooms have been pretty freaking nasty lately. I'm trying to think. You know who has the nastiest bathrooms? And Ooh. I love this store beyond measure at home. You that know, is the scariest. I can't ever figure out if it's filthy or just so outdated and untaken scary. care of. It's scary. You know what's amazing? That store is not that old. That store is less than... it. They just built it since I've been living here six years ago. Not the store. Now, the building itself has been there. I was going to say... Because it used to be Garden Ridge. Yes. Which, they're the same store. They just changed names. Yes. Yes. But I, so I don't know. And usually Garden Ridge tends to take out old buildings. Like, it was probably a Home Depot or something like that. It looks so. like it maybe was like an academy or, yeah. I don't even know. Because they did move, the academy oh, yeah. over to the I side. bet you that's what it was. It I was remember when they did that. I love yeah. that home. But yeah, they, you guys have the scariest damn bathroom at your humble store. It doesn't, you need to Half step the stuff up. doesn't work. No. And like you know the sinks and and, and the, the 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 kicker is like they have these fake flower arrangements on yes. the sink and they're the kind with the clear liquid yeah. gel that yeah. looks like water. The kind that I had at my wedding. <laughs> the, that's the stuff okay. that I was using. Okay. At, yeah, I don't know what the hell that stuff was, but it, and then they've got these sad little daisies. Still with the price tags for fourteen ninety nine. I'm like, who in the hell would pay fourteen ninety nine for that ugly ass shit? Right. Like you just need to throw it in the garbage or donate it. You're a home decor store. You can do better than Oh, that. yes. Yeah. You need to step it up a notch because yeah. I love at home. And, the, I mean, that bathroom is proof that you can't just throw paint on something to fix it. You no. have to actually repair the underneath before you fix it. The irony is in that, isn't it, that you just yeah. said you're a home decor store and your bathroom is like the saddest bathroom. It looks bathroom. like a ghetto. It looks like a gas station bathroom. In Louisiana. I have been in nicer gas station bathrooms. Those those kangaroo stops or whatever. Yeah. Those those got some fucking nice bathrooms, right. man. My favorite bathroom is Bucky's. Bucky's, absolutely. Bucky's is the bomb. But I think like that's 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 what they pride themselves on. Their clean bathroom. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. They're two hundred clean bathrooms. And they each have their own uh, hand um, dispenser uh, for um, sanitizer. I love that. You don't have to stand in line away. That's my seventh heaven. Yeah, I agree. The, that hand, there's hand sanitizer and then there's. Um, toilet seat sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Do you ever that one on the side? It gives you long. Oh, I thought that was for my hands. No, there is the hand sanitizer here, and there's the toilet sanitizer no. right here. So you take toilet paper and you ah. put, and then you can wipe your seat down. The thing with that being is the fact that there's literally someone in that bathroom rotating through and wiping everything yes. down 24 hours she a day. She waits. The second you walk out, she walks in. Right. Literally, that late, the attendant does. So I that's the most impressive right. bathrooms ever. I I will agree. So take a page out of that book at home. <laughs> Just kidding. We do love you in case you ever want to sponsor us. Oh my God, do I love at home. In fact, my, my teenager now loves at home yes. because I took her yesterday. We literally spent an hour and a half in there and there was this really cute guy that helped us with the buggies because our buggies, when we first walked in, we got this gigantic buggy uh-huh. and I felt like... You mean your cart? Yes, it's my cart. I'm from the country, yo. Do you remember that show? Uh, I'm going to get you a t-shirt that says that. I'm from the country, country, yo. (laughs) 
That would be amazing. I'll see what I can do. Christmas is coming up. If I can figure out how to use that damn cameo, I can make my own shirt. Yeah, you're Leslie. more likely. You're more likely that I'm going to get it I made know. for you. But I got one of those huge ones. Um, uh, you know what I felt like? Do you remember that girl from? Uh, she called herself Rosanna Bandana Banana or whatever back in the. 70s or 80s, it was Lily Tomlin, and she sat in this yes, gigantic... Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt like that pushing the, the buggy, <laughs> and Aubrey says, Mommy, that buggy's too big. Why you have that? And I'm like, I don't know. It was up to my eyeballs. <laughs> and she said, and the little cute guy's like, we have smaller ones. I was like, yeah. So we went and exchanged it. So when we went to check out, I said, we have been in here forever. He's like, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, you have. He said, I literally just clocked in when you guys walked <laughs> in the door. He said, you were here for like an hour and a half. It's easy to lose time in there. I love that store. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So, um, but anyway. <coughs> so, we are episode 14. We were going we were gonna to do a little funny light show, which yes. may be a little shorter this week. But um, we were going to talk about our text not our text messages, but our messenger messages, because we are funny as hell when we chit chat with each other. Heather and thinks that we're hilarious. I do think we're hilarious. You don't think we're hilarious? I think that we think we're hilarious. I do. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Because <laughs> I, this is what I know. Sometimes I'll read something to Matt, and he just sits there and looks at me. My husband does too, but that's because I won't. But you know, yeah. So I have kind of a summary of what our messenger history looks like. And just to start off, I woke up this morning <laughs> and Heather gets up, although her kids get up later than mine do. She gets up like at, I don't know, 3.30 uh, in the morning. Five. So God knows, I'm not sure when you sent it to me. I'll have to look at the timestamp. I woke up to a video about poop. <laughs> Poopery, baby. That was some funny stuff. There's no explanation. I, have to, I will put 624. a Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We, I slept in this morning. That's why that was so... It's not like you were up earlier than me. I just slept in. Well, I mean, you technically were And I did see it at like 5 a.m. Yeah. I just realized at that point, this is too funny not to share with people. I'll put a link on our page. But I will inevitably every morning wake up to some sort of Heather thought. Yeah. <laughs> so, like some people meditate in the morning. Some people read I their do. Bibles. I, I have Heather moments on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Heatherisms. That's the best. Heatherisms. So, yeah. Um, this morning she sent me... Uh, a video on uh, which we'll, we'll, we need to put that up because it was it. hilarious. <laughs> I wonder if that stuff works. We had some before. My kids used it. I don't know because I don't know. My kids thought it was air freshener. I got it as a Christmas present right. one year, believe it or not. I won't tell who it was from. But the video was hilarious. Right. You have to check it out. We'll put the link. Um, okay, so a summary of what our messenger history talks or is, is basically the things that we would never say to other people, like horrible things about, these are like horrible, we're awful people, <laughs> but like things about other people, we don't get super ugly, but um, about our kids, about our husband. And when we say other people, typically it's the bitch that cut us off in line at yeah, the car rider yeah. line or, or the lady people. at the store people or nasty online. commenters. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Online people. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, Random, are they gifts? Is it gifs? Gif, it, gif, I gifs? I think it's a gif. Yeah. G-I-F. See, Heather would start sending these to me and then also I'm like, you know what, I'm going to download this feature because I, I got to send them <laughs> back. So we're just super random. Yeah, though it'll be like... 12 of them in a row. But it helps get your point across visually. There's nothing oh, like what, Alfonso, like... Roberto, or whatever, Ribeiro dancing. Yeah, yeah. The little Carlton. Yeah. When you're happy. And I had one yesterday. It was the kid from, um, what's his damn name, from 30 Rock. You sent it to me, and he's wearing nothing but a Speedo when he's dancing. Um, it was really funny. Oh, the cute little boy. The yeah, cute guy. The little intern dude. Oh, no, not him. He's ugly. That is the guy. To you, he is. He might be beautiful. You're talking about the, the blonde headed guy? Yes. Ooh, I thought you were talking about the really cute, the guy with the three names off Third Rock from the Sun. The guy with three names off of Third Rock from the Sun. Is that not the show you just said? No, 30 <laughs> Rock. Oh, God. I was totally on the wrong show. You know, Jordan, uh, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, don't get me started on that big giant hunk of meat. Go, Gordon something Elliot. Or he is so. Uh, it's, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yes. He is cute. No, he's beautiful. Yeah, he is. But that's who I, you're talking about. If you've ever seen the middle, this is the guy that's the dentist on the middle. The, the guy in the underwear he's that you're talking hilarious. about. He's hilarious. He is hilarious, but. He's not your style. Would not touch me. I would not touch it with a 12 You need pole. to say he's not my style. He is not my style, and I would not touch it with a 12-foot pole. I'm just being honest. I'm sorry. I'm stuck on uh, what's-his-face Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. 
Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, so you're so cute. I can't remember your name. So so cute. Everything yeah. about him is adorable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> 20 million questions about what we're going to talk about in the next episode because we both really suck at taking notes. So we'll talk about someone like, we should talk about that. Yes. Yes. And then when it comes time for ideas for our shows, yeah. we can never remember. No. So we're we like, go back and have like, to ask. What? And but we're too other. lazy. Right. We're too lazy to actually look ourselves. So we just text <laughs> each other. We look at each other like deer in the headlights. <laughs> Some more random gifts <laughs> or gifs, depending on who you are. And one of us telling the other one to say no. Oh, yeah. That's been a lot lately. Just a lot of back away from that. Don't say yes. Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that email? Don't you answer it. <laughs> Do not say yes to that email. Just say no. Don't even open your email box. <laughs> Step away. <laughs> you should just send that to me like once a day. Oh, no, don't open it. Don't answer your phone. Don't answer the door. <laughs> don't look outside. <laughs> just don't even go anywhere. No. Why don't you just sit down and catch up on DVR Copper? Yes. Yeah. Netflix and chill. And I don't mean that kind of Netflix and chill. No, I want that kind of chill. I want, like, Netflix and chill. Yeah. Out. I want, like, Netflix and a plate of nachos. Oh, my God. Nachos sound really good right now. They See, do. this is the dangerous spot we get in. We haven't eaten lunch, and it's, like, 1230. Yeah. And What day is it? Friday. It is Friday. <gasps> Skeeters has... What, what? No way. Do they really? I don't know if they have not. Is they have not. They have five nachos. Day, is it Friday $5 fa- like we could tacos? Be, tacos are on Tuesday. Oh, damn it. They have some good taco skaters if you're listening. I mean, if we don't get margaritas, it would be fairly cheap. That's where we get ourselves in trouble is the margaritas. I know. When we go and then like two hours have passed and we're like, damn, I have to go get the kids. We've wasted so much time. (laughs) We're our own worst enemies. You know that? That's a true story right there. (laughs) And it's not like we surround ourselves with good people either. (laughs) I know. Each other. I'm honestly surprised that Janelle hasn't. Oh, I know why she hasn't. Because it's fall fest and they're probably knee deep in shit. Setting up. Yes. Yes. But it's because I'm surprised Janelle hasn't been like lunch every Friday. Lunch? <laughs> <laughs> and we went to lunch last Friday waiting on them and they never even well, showed up. Well, they were downtown, those poor yeah. women. Yeah. Ew, no one wants to go downtown. Oh, that's today. And then we were going to ask each other a few random questions. We had written yeah. some random questions down and put them in a bag and we were going to draw a few out yeah. um, to answer. So It's kind of a lazy day. It is. It is. But... Um, in our defense, tonight is fall festival, and I one of us is not sick, and one of us actually right. has to go volunteer for two shifts yeah, in a row, you. shoveling out nacho sauce, and I'm going to totally eat some of those behind the damn kids' backs. I didn't know there'd be nacho cheese. Oh, yeah, and I will save me some. If I'm working that table, I'm going to get me some. So is, so, that the, is that the synopsis? Um, Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But we think we're pretty, I think we're pretty funny. I guess. We must be pretty funny. But we might. There's a lot of guinea pig uh, pictures on here too, and pictures of Henry sleeping. Copper likes guinea pigs. I love guinea you guys. pigs. It's kind of creepy, slightly weird. I don't have one as a pet. You do. I sent I sent her random pictures of the guinea pig. We do have a really cute guinea pig, I have to say, and she's very personable. She's so cute. But this, but but Copper she wants to come home with me. She literally told me that. likes to see guinea pig pictures. I follow a couple of guinea pig people. On, Who's the on weirdo Instagram. now that likes unsolved mystery reruns? Um, and I also like cat videos. The one, oh Lord, the one who likes who follows guinea pig Instagrams. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> oh my god, adorable. Yes. So I did actually open the e- uh, emails from my mom or the text from my mom's. She bought me a really pretty throw from Tractor Supply. Mom, I love you, but you know the dog is gonna eat it. Gonna eat that bitch, <laughs> and it will be like tattered into pieces. But I will look at the picture that you sent me and pick one of the two. Wait, so. did she pick one? Let she me sent see. me a picture of both of them. And so, see, my phone is fried. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where'd it go? Oh, you have a message, too. That's from you. Oh. That's an old message. But um, You just keep it on there? I'm telling that's you, that phone sweet. is fried. So, yeah, it's about time to Oh, to go with the dog up. one. <laughs> True story, Copper and I were in Walmart, um... And we ended up looking at um, throws. You remember those throws? They had right. pictures of they had yeah. pictures of kittens and eagles and 
Dear God. There when was an were, owl. When they were bundled, yeah. they weren't so ugly. Right. But I can, you know, you know what I did think Did you of? end up buying one of those or did you Hell go with the no. others? I bought that really cute one and I I was too scared to put it downstairs. It was like a dog's ass. So I right. saw my bed upstairs. Aww. But it's really pretty. It's the really ones that were on the end cap? The blue yeah. and the orange. That was it cute. It turned out really, really good. But um, so anyway. You want to do the you want to do the random questions? Yeah, let's do the random questions. All right, so we put them in a bag. Uh, <laughs> ah, let's so see. you should just know that like I when I wrote these questions, I had kind of forgotten that we were gonna put them in the bag, and maybe I might have to answer them. So <laughs> no, you we get to go first. We have to make this fun. So Here. let's see what I can find. There you go. Okay. All right. Oh, thank God. Okay. What is the biggest lie you have ever told your child to get out of doing something? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Ooh, I'm gonna let you go first. No, I'm not answering that. It's your question. Oh, the biggest lie. There's not a biggest. They're all pretty similar in size. What is the most common? No. What is the most awful? Desperate. Oh, I would like to say that Halloween has been canceled. You told your kids that Halloween no, was canceled? Hell no, but now that it's... I would like to one year. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> These kids walk miles, people. I know. They get real... Ex Henry's like, oh, blisters, Henry goes blisters. like, Henry goes like four houses and he's like, I'm done. I got little legs. I'm going to go back to the house. Henry. But the other I'm two, the other two kids will literally walk, walk until neighbor. you make them. Yeah. yeah, I will go with Henry this year. They're devoted to their cause. Yeah, no. I don't, I don't know. The biggest one I ever tell is about the park. I tell them all the time. The, park the park's closed. closed for maintenance. I do. I don't like sitting right. out in that sweltering heat, mosquito infested yeah. area. It's cooling off now, though. While so they play. Yay. Yes. But, yeah. Welcome to fall in Texas. Yeah. You know what that means? Nothing. It's, it's in the 70s. Absolutely nothing. It's Texas. <laughs> yeah, I um, I lie about places being closed. Or I'll lie and Chuck say and Cheese is like never open. I don't yeah. know what their problem is, but they're always closed for cleaning. I also lie that I don't have, like, they only take checks or they only take cash. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. Whatever, one of yeah. those yeah. things. I always do that, too. I do. Um, when we, when Maggie was little, Matt, for the longest time, had her believing that the Disney store mm -hmm. was actually Disney World. <laughs> That's awesome. Look, it's a cheap version of Disney World. Right. So it'd be like, you want to go to Disney World? And she's like, we go to Disney World all the time and Daddy buys me something. <laughs> That's awesome. I wish I would have thought of that. Yeah. Holy cow. I lie to my kids all the time. Right. I'm just going to be honest. I lie to the kids about what I'm eating in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing? <laughs> I, I, I've lied. The other day, I had something I had something to eat, and I forget what it was, but it, it involved like a good snack. Right. And Paige came in, and she said, what you eating? And I said, oh, it's... It's grapefruit um, flavored something. And she kind of looked. And I said, do you want some? Knowing she was going to recoil. Right. She did. She recoiled. And she's like, <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> I think I lie about that a lot. Like, they'll come in like, what are you eating? I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I know. I try to think Some of the carrots. nastiest thing. Yeah. I try to. My kids like carrots, but they're like, they they really want the ice cream that I just snuck in my mouth. So I Tell them it's turnips or um, what's the cabbage? Yeah. Ca my kids don't like cabbage. Cabbage. I like cabbage. I love cooked cabbage. Yeah. Oh, I do too. I so and, and coleslaw. Some yeah. of my kids like coleslaw. I like certain types of coleslaw. So you have to be careful not to say. Right. So I say cabbage. Um, and I can't remember what I had. I don't know. And I hide food from the kids right. all the time. I do too. All the time. Did you see that really smart thing? I saw it on Pinterest. It's a bag of like freezer peas. It's an yeah. empty bag. And, and she the puts her candy are in, there. in the bag. That's brilliant. <laughs> Won't really work at my house though because no. my kids love... Um, vegetables, but they're not going to be going in the freezer digging no, for vegetables. No. So that would totally work at my house. Um, that uh, American Housewife, have you seen that show? Oh yet? my God, I was going to tell you earlier. That I is haven't an amazing watched it. Show. I haven't watched it yet. So, but there is a clip where she she's like, she's eating the Halloween candy, and he's like, Oh, did someone buy the Halloween candy too early? And she's like, Uh huh. And I'm like, That's me. That's why we haven't bought it yet. It can't be in this house yeah, too early. Right. And then she's like, I need for you to hide it from me, but somewhere where I can get to it if I really need to. <laughs> and so apparently at some point in time he hit it and they, they flash into where she's reaching into the fri or freezer and she's like, really? I told you to make it less accessible, not more delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good coming out of the freezer. So. Well, I, I did actually watched the episode yesterday for the first time in the car ride right. line. 
um, while I was waiting for Aubrey, and it is funny. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's on my list. It's hilarious. It's right up our alley. Right. She's She's like us, you know. She's adorable. I love her. Yeah. I really, I, it's a good show, so. Uh, so. All right. Uh, Your turn. I'm so scared. <laughs> You're so scared. Why are you scared? Oh, I got to uh, open it, right? Yeah. My turn to open it. Take oh, a it drink. looks like mine. Looks like mine. It is yours, thank God. I don't want to answer any of my own questions. No, a couple of mine were lame. Ah, what's your biggest regret? That's a really hard one. It doesn't have to be deep. It could be funny. No, honestly, and this isn't funny at all, but my biggest regret, and it's not, I hesitate to say this because it comes off sounding like, oh, I regret who I decide to spend my life with, and that's not the case. I wish that Matt and I had both had that college experience before okay. we moved into does that make sense like it does right and it's really funny you know what my biggest regret is it's going to college yes yeah. absolutely that's really ironic but neither one of us have ever lived on our own and it's not that i not happy that i i've always been with him but i never lived on my own and neither did he and we never lived in the dorm and we never right. had that you know yeah and I get that because right. I did. I that, that those were the best years of my life was when I was in my twenties and right. I was single, and um, oh yeah, I had a blast. But looking back, <coughs> I I could have totally done without college. Yeah, I really could have. So that's probably my biggest regret, you know. But you had that time where you were on your own, and I think, like, it's not necessary. I mean, and I do like the degree thing is one thing, but the whole just the whole. That experience right. that we did not get. Right. Like, we immediately graduated from high school and became adults. Yeah, right. And a lot of people do. My friend Joan, my sweet friend Joan, she got married and ended up with a stepson at, who was five when she was like, I think she was like 18 or right. 21, somewhere within that range. And, yeah, she said the same thing. She said, I had to grow up right then. She said, I didn't have a choice, you know. I got right. married and had an instant family. Right. And so, yeah. Um, that's probably deeper than you wanted to go. But, I mean, <laughs> if I was being completely honest, that's that's, that's probably in my top three regrets yeah. is that. And I think we would have still ended up together, but it would not have hurt to live alone. Yeah. Well, on the other end of the spectrum, then you could, you know, you may get it on the other end of the spectrum when your kids are adults. But, you know, you get it a lot with him traveling. Right, yeah. You oh, yeah, I do live on my own, basically. So, yeah, so once yeah. the kid, but what I was saying was once the kids are all grown and out of the house right. and he is traveling. Right. Then essentially you'll be living right. on your own without kids. You right. know what I mean? I mean, I basically I always say like I'm I I have all the um, I I live like a single person mm -hmm. without the pressure of dating or shaving. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> I still shave. You know what I mean? Yes. But yeah, I get it. So. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Well, I didn't mean for that one to get so deep. No, okay. sorry. I was just I'm like, I was oh, just I like random. The, the whole thing was ten random or right. ten random questions. I don't know if it was ten. I think if I was gonna go with like a funny regret. I wish I had gotten my belly button pierced when I was confident enough to show my belly button off. Okay. Like no one's saying it now. Fair enough. Right. Yeah. That's not really funny either. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's my your turn. turn. Your okay. turn. What is something on your bucket list? What is something on my bucket list? Um, honestly, I'd love to go to Hawaii. Yeah. I think Hawaii looks like one of the most amazing places on the planet. Right. I don't know that I could fly that far. I don't know if we've ever discussed this, but I am not a flyer. I'm not a big flyer. I grew up flying. I'm back getting and forth anxious to thinking Texas. about next week. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be honest. Like, I really. I get to the point where if I got hives, I would get hives. Yeah. Like, that's how nervous it makes me. The last time I flew was when I flew to watch my brother when him and his other band were on the sing-off. Uh-huh. And it was in Los Angeles. And I remember telling him, you know I love you because, because I'm Because I got blind. a plane for you. Yeah. Right. So that was probably five years ago. But I don't, I don't fly. Matt will tell you, I used to um, have, like, flat full on panic attacks. Yeah. Like I'd be on the plane like crying. Yeah. I was so terrified. And I've I've taken Xanax before I've hopped on a plane before to kinda of chill out. That doesn't always work out so well because then I get really paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> D <Dee> Cooper's <laughs> on here. Right. But now I just tend to I like to I like to get to the airport on time. 
I get a little drinky poo. Not too many, because you don't, the worst thing you want to do is be drunk on a plane. Like bridesmaids. I have, from yes, bridesmaids. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I have a beer, and then I get on a plane, and I'm, I'm better, but man, it's not, I, I'm right there with you. Uh, flying is not my uh, forte. It's so friggin' scary. It's scary. It's a lack of control. I mean, like, I, I'm yeah. not in control. I know it's safe. You're on a, it's really not. You're on a ten it is. tube. You're on a ten. <laughs> you're on a ten tube hurtling <laughs> through space. I want to be on the ground. I think at least in a car you do stand a better chance of surviving than yeah, in a plane crash. Right. You're closer to the ground. Trust me. I like being closer to the right. ground. I'm like short. If, like if I if I'm on the ground and I fall, I just scrape my knee. And especially someone like me who's like five foot tall. If you I barely fall, do that. Yeah. Except like when I fell down the stairs. Yeah. And broke my ankle. Uh, uh, but if I'm walking, I didn't mean to laugh. At that. What an asshole! Damn I just you, laugh. bitch! No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Every time we talk about that fall, I think of I'm just like it's in slow mo and there's like funny music with it. When and I what's sad is it's like like total opposite for me. Like it's really traumatizing. I, I, just, I know it's dramatic. I'm <sighs> sorry. I'm the worst friend ever. Because I always feel awful for you that you're 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 never gonna be the same because yeah. of that fall. But at the same time, I'm like the act of the tumble itself. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, and I don't even think I tumbled. I think what I did was I slipped. Slid. Because I can remember hitting my backbone right. and my butt uh, on those steps going down. Yeah. I was only like three steps from the ground. Right. But like you know, you just hit something just right. But I, yeah, being in a plane is no. So the Hawaii thing would be a big step for you. It would. I think I'd have to like get drunk before I went. Right. But I would totally go if I could. Right. I like that. Travel is definitely higher up for me. I thought about that because there is a um, great little advertisement out right now for um, organ donation, Uh which is something I'm pretty passionate about. And it's this guy and the whole thing is him working on this bucket list. And he's checking things off. And he's an older gentleman. Uh-huh. And it's him and his wife. And he dyes his hair blue and gets a mohawk. <laughs> and they backpack through Europe. And he plays in a rock band and all this other stuff. Um, swims naked in the ocean. And then towards the end, like, they make you aware of the fact that it's not his bucket list. It's the bucket list of the kid. Oh, that, that he got crushes his heart me. From. Okay. And so I've been then, like, oh, Aww. you know, it makes you think about, like, your bucket list. Like, and, and the, the bigger message to take from that is be an organ donor, people. Come on. Just do it, you know. That's great. Where'd you see that commercial at? Um, I saw it. My, my friend Becky, her son is um, currently there. Um, he's on the list for liver donation. He's waiting on his um, okay. his phone call. So she's a really big big um, advocate for it. And in the process, I you know, I'll I'll look for it. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's it's a really good one. There's also another one about Aww. this guy that's I don't know how to I. I mean, don't even look for it. I'll pull them both up for you. There's another one about this guy who's just this gigantic asshole in life, but the best thing he ever did was had he was an organ donor so when he died his organs went to other people but it's like even assholes can you know be right, heroes right. is basically right but the bucket list thing really kind of like i don't know that bothered me a little well not bothered but it makes you think and i don't have any about enormous, what you want to do i don't have an enormous bucket and list. why wait yeah why wait why Absolutely. do you have to be like dying before right. you work on I a agree. list i agree um and i don't i mean do you have an enormous bucket list i really don't no, I don't. I mean, I don't have everyone. I would, I would really love to go to Europe. And for oh, me, though, it would be a like I'd want to be there for a long time. Okay. At least several months because there's so much I'd want to see. I agree. And it's such a once in a lifetime mm-hmm. that I'd want to yeah. really, you know, delve into it. Yeah. Right. So, but I mean, there's a few other things, but not not anything huge. Very doable. Yeah. Well, I mean, the couple months in Europe is huge, but <laughs> it is. All right, his turn. Your turn? Yes. It is your turn. I think. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, let's That made see. it more technical. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, this one will be, might get you in trouble. Do you have a favorite child? <laughs> Henry, uh, close your ears. Oh, hell. I put his videos on. He's not paying attention. <laughs> I'm going to say that I honestly, I my, each one of my children... Is my favorite for a different reason. Does yeah. that make sense? It so, does, you little brown noser. I'm a sucker for Henry, though. <laughs> I mean, and I love them all. I worry about Jackie the most. Maggie, I don't worry about her at all because that girl has it going on. Mm-hmm. And Henry's just the kid that's always going to be able to get whatever he wants out of me. Right. But he's the meanest, too. <laughs> So I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's one of those, like, I have this nature where I, like, I, you're mean to me. I need to be your friend, you know. But, yeah. 
I think the, they're all my favorites for different. I tell them each that they're my favorites. I, just, just, I whisper all the time, "You're my favorite." Don't tell your siblings. You know. You know what I tell mine? I tell Landon especially, "You're my favorite boy." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not a lie. Why well, always that? You're my favorite redhead. You're yeah. my favorite blonde. Yes. You're my favorite Jackie Pie. You do. You have all three. It's funny. You have the spectrum. You have a blonde, a redhead. Or yeah. ginger. I don't know what's going on with our genetics. It's weird. It is weird that yeah. you have all three of those. It's very, un- I don't think it's very common, so that's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. I, I will admit, I do have a favorite. I do. Um, is it Bo, the dog? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. No, it isn't. It's the boy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, I love all my kids equally, but just something about him, he's just so infinitely sweet. Right. And he's just, so, I don't know. So, yeah, he is. And I think we'd be lying to ourselves if we said we didn't have a right. favorite. Because everybody does. You walk into a room full of your friends, you have a favorite. Right. You walk into a meeting with, you know, people you work with, you have your favorite. You know what I mean? So, I think it's just the kid that you maybe connect with the most. Right. But Like, in my case, though, I find that it's the kid that's just always looking out for me, right. always wants to know if I'm okay. And to me, that kind of hits a soft spot because I don't really get that. Right. You know, my husband, I love him, but he's not the most, like I could be hacking up a lung in the kitchen from having something. <laughs> and he'd still be watching he'd the game. He'd still be right. watching the game, still be on his phone. But the boy literally would stop what he's doing, even the first cough. Right. Mommy, are you okay? Are you okay? So I think to me that's probably why um, I would pick him. Right. Because I like that. You know? He's, he's probably just really, that. he doesn't want anything to happen to you. Because yeah. if something happens he, to you, that kid is screwed. He has cried at night before. Many times I put him to bed and he would cry. Mommy, I don't want anything to happen to you. And you talk Jackie's about like touch that. you. Oh my right. God. Like, yeah. Jackie's always like, he has these bad dreams where I, I go away yeah. or I die. So then, yes. That's, that's Landon. So, yeah. Versus Henry, who's like, I'm going to take you in the backyard and dig a hole in the ground and put you in it. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> that sounds nice. I'm sorry I didn't put a granola bar in your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> sorry the cheese was, right. was on your sandwich. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yes. Yeah, I know that's a tough one. Yeah. It depends on the day. It does. But I, I do. I think, we, I think we're kidding ourselves if we say we don't. Right. We all do. Even if it's just a smidgen more, we all do. So, all right, my it's turn. Your turn. My turn. Okay, let's see. Ah, name a song. No, I'm supposed oh, to. Oh, you're supposed to read it. I like reading. Na- <laughs> name a song that you love, but you're too embarrassed to admit it. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> there's a song I should have pulled the clip up um, from my partying days when we used to go to Seville. In Pensacola, um, it's something about ride a pony. <laughs> I can't tell you the lyrics. I wish you could. I wish I could pull it up. It's um, this is awful. Let's see if I can pull it up for you super quick, <coughs> so um, we can listen to it. <laughs> and I might even have it on my phone. Truth be told, um, you know she does. I'm gonna Google the words, and oh dear God. This is slightly embarrassing. <laughs> I'll let you read the words in a minute. Um, it's a song called Pony by Genuine. The lyrics that I typed in were, you're horny, let's do it. <laughs> do you remember this song? I don't. I probably once you hit play. Of course, there's always a commercial. Aww. So give us two seconds. Ready? Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, I love this song. How did I not know that that's the title? I didn't know that was the name of that's it. That's what I said. I never know the name. I have this um, on my playlist, and I'm so bang. embarrassed. But bang. Just give me a little taste. Let's do it. We'll skip to the, uh, skip. I don't know any of the words. He says, come and jump on it. If you're horny, let's do it. Ride in my pony. I do know My that My saddle's song. waiting. Oh. Coming. Jump on it. I love how you're reading this like it's beat night at the coffee shop. Do you want me to? I do that all <laughs> We're probably breaking all kinds of life scenes right now. Ooh, genuine. We love it. If you're still around, still alive, I don't even know. But good that for you, is buddy. My... That's a good one. <laughs> I get mortified, but I'm like sitting in the minivan at the red light. And you know you're like, I'm like, I'm right. So if you all 
fart looking at me. You wish you had some of this. That's right. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, at least yours. You're not getting off that easy. I have so many, but I own my bad music choices. Hello, <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I like his music, not him. He's a moron of. of oh no, he's an a hole. He's an a hole. Yeah, like I don't think I know anybody who's dumb. You know that what? Why I don't get so angry about his <laughs> behavior is the fact that he doesn't. Think, I think he's stupid. He, just he doesn't, doesn't realize. think differently than a lot of people. People in his position do. Okay. His problem is, is he opens his mouth. Yeah, he's just. Wow. Sometimes I have to wonder if he really, like, his IQ must be like 12. Right, right. Or else his mama did not teach him to keep his mouth shut if he had nothing I think, to and, say. you know, she's gone now, so I'm not going to speak poorly about her. My thought on that has always been the fact that he was always raised to think that he was... Better than everybody else. Right. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, I cannot right. stand Kanye. Sorry, Kanye. So, but I like his music. Well, I'll admit to it. None of the above. So, yeah. Gold now digger. I got that song in my head. No, I'm going to listen to it later. I have a bunch, but I own up to all my music. Like, my music is so eclectic. There's some crappy stuff in there, I and know. I love it. If you, if you pull up my SoundCloud playlist, yeah. it's, it's embarrassing. so freaking funny. Right. Because I have the I run the gamut from um, Mumford & Sons to, to Nelly to, Nelly to, to like, if, if I could find the Pina Colada song... You'd listen to I'd it, yeah. I put it on my SoundCloud. There. Yeah. But you're kind of limited with what you put on SoundCloud. I have, um, you know, for the longest time, I always like listening to What Does the Fox Say? And I'm like, oh, that I sing this. that to my kids <laughs> all the time. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's the quickest way to piss my kids off. They'll say, they'll say something, and I'll say, what are you doing? Nothing. You cheater. Is that mine or yours? It's mine. You cheater. Damn it, stop jumping into my hand. She threw it back in there. I did. Karma's going to give it back to you. You okay. better get that damn thing out of there. No, I'll answer it later. Damn it. Okay, this is mine. If you could go back to any point in time, when would it be? Oh, gosh. Um... And don't say Cleopatra so that you could lay there and have somebody rub you off skanky troll feet. Oh, any point in time, not just like in my life. Yes, any point in time. But it it, it doesn't matter, but any, any point in time. I think, like, I mean, I, I like um, things like flushing toilets and what? shampoo. Did I miss something? So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna go too far back because I like toilets. You totally lost me like, on that one. I like things like toilets that flush you like and modern shampoo. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I yeah. knew there was a term for that. <laughs> um, cold medicine is I'm totally kicking girl in. Here. I know everything. Um, so I wouldn't go too far back. As as much as I love some of that stuff, like I love history. I think the '60s would be pretty cool. Really? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say the '50s. Yeah. I would have totally dug being one of those '50s housewives. You would too. I would. I love that shit. I love that. I, you can make you can make Lloyd a martini and rub his feet when he gets home. Yeah, I'm not rubbing his newspaper. Feet. I hate feet. They're gross. But I would make the martini. <laughs> I just have an issue with vacuuming in those dresses. Yeah. What the hell? Like and I the watched, high heels. Yeah, I watched. And, I watched in their hose. Oh, yeah. pantyhose. Uh, no. Are you sure? I think so. Those houses were the bomb, man. They were. Those houses freaking rocked. That's how come my new obsession with Palm Springs, California. I'm like, I don't, I, I don't, I, some of you are probably my Facebook friend, but, um, I watched that show, um, I forget what it's called. Something, De Desert that... Flip or something. It's on HGTV. I oh, watch a lot yeah, of HGTV. Yeah, you watch a lot of HGTV. After the kids go to bed. And I become obsessed. Like, w recently was Buying Islands. There's a show about Buying Islands. And who knew you could buy an island for $100,000? Right. Holy cow, I'm there. Like, you could buy islands everywhere. Could you imagine how awesome that would be? There was one that was directly... Maybe I should put that on my bucket list. On an island. It's crazy. I'd be scared, though, that people would come on my back. Come up behind me. Yeah. <laughs> and be, like, creeping up from behind. That's not sexual, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, coming it's around. totally sexual. <laughs> uh, so, I'd be scared somebody'd come on my behind of my island. Would you... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> on the back side of me. <sighs> behind... Over there, on the opposite side of my front island. We're losing Whatever. so many listeners right but, now. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, my newest obsession is that desert flip house. And yeah. all the houses are in Palm Springs. Right. And all the houses were built in, like, the heyday of Sinatra. Right. Oh, my God. These the houses, houses are yeah. amazing. Yeah. 
And a lot of them are still untouched from original. Right. right? <clears throat> so that's my new obsession. But yeah, I could totally, I could totally do it. I don't know. Um, but I don't think they always wore dresses. I watched I Love Lucy. She wore pants. Yeah, by then they did. Yeah. yeah I think so. Maybe the 40s that they but were. But they were all put together and stuff. We are not. I'm not. I'm hot mess mom. Everybody needs that hot mess I mean, mom I took a friend. shower this morning, but only because I had dyed my hair, so. I took a shower. I didn't brush my hair. Of course you took a shower. <laughs> You've had like three already. I have. It's 10, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's 1.30. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. One more for each of us, and then I think we're done. Yes. Let's, um. Because uh, I have a kid to pick up. Uh, Oh. All right. I read the last one. But it's from me. Okay. Would you rather be rich or look like a supermodel? Oh, wait. No. That is yours. It You're is. right. Okay. Well, Would you rather be rich or <laughs> look like a supermodel? Sorry. You literally just read this. <laughs> <laughs> I, rich? Yeah. Me too. I can buy. I can make myself look like a supermodel. Right. Or in the case of like... Um, Supermodels look hungry. But... But Kathy Griffin, it didn't work out so good for her. So oh. maybe I wouldn't try to buy myself into looking like a supermodel. I'm okay. Was she a model? Hell no. But that just shows you money cannot make you pretty. <laughs> so yes, money. Is Kathy Griffin? That's the red hair woman, Yes, right? she's the I comedian. I don't know that she's really a millionaire. Well, I'm sure she is, but. She had more money than we do, girl. Why are we picking on her? I'm not. I'm just saying. That's just proof. <laughs> money does not buy you. Right. Uh attractiveness so yeah beauty is in the eye of the beholder girl look at you trying to be all pc i know <laughs> oh my turn right no yeah yes it is my turn this is so confusing okay do you cuss around your children <laughs> ah! <laughs> what a perfect one to answer <laughs> i do um it's not my favorite thing that i you know, I mean, when I look back on parenting, there are times where I regret it. Um, I, they have an understanding that there's there's ways that adults speak mm -hmm. and ways that they should speak. Right. I don't necessarily go out of my way to do it, but it does happen. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I, uh, I don't know if you've seen the little article that floats around, but it says, you know, I, I cuss in front of my kids right. or something like that. And, you know, it got a lot of um, likes. Right. Because I think, you know, this generation is much different. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's, oh, I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm not, that's not the right word to use. I'm not trying to excuse doing it. Right. But I think that we put more emphasis on word. Right. Than we should. Right. I agree. It's literally just another word in the English language, you know, in the dictionary that people. I think we have bigger issues with our children than me saying shit I, in front of them. I, and I have told you before, I think, and I don't know if I said it on here, but if, if that's the biggest vice my kids ever end up with is cussing, I will consider my, right. my job done because right. that's my biggest vice. Right. And I'm not apologetic about it at all. I have no problem. Like, you know, I mean, I know some people won't be your friend because you cuss or they think that you're less than if you cuss and. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> and I will say this. I am, I, I, and I have very few friends that, and I think that they would accept me one way or the other, but I have a few friends that I truly do know that it bothers them. Mm -hmm. So I do watch myself. Yeah. And I think that's just being respectful. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Right. But I don't go, and I don't go out of my way. It's just part of my speech to begin with. But I'm more aware and I try to. I'm trying to think, yeah. Yeah, I choose I better any. words. And it's just because I respect them enough right. that I know it makes them uncomfortable, and I don't. I try not to. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I don't know if I have any. Isn't that funny? That I don't know if I have I any I really, it's, it's one or two, and they're more like acquaintances. So yeah. I don't, I just don't, I don't go out of my way to be like that in front of them. Yeah. So. I just, you know, I'm of the mindset, this is who I am. Right. Um, and I, I read one time, someone said, you know, cussing's not necessary. You know, it makes you sound crass and it makes you sound crude. <laughs> uh, you're, They're just you, words. You know what I have in my head. You're not. That, you're not being. Yeah. Un, you're not. You know what makes you sound crass and rude and unkind is being unkind right. to people right. and speaking ill of others, right. which we're all guilty of at some point. Right. But verbally, like to their face, being a jack off. You know, right. these are just words. Yes. Yes. And I don't know about you, but I think I do it because. I'm a storyteller. Right. I love to write. 
And I think... It's a form of expression. It, it is. It helps embellish, and it helps express myself. Right. So I think that's why I like right. it. You know, so... Plus, it feels really good to say some of those words. Oh, hell yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does, because we popped our cherry on the last yes. episode. And I'm and sure Matt, I probably Matt will said laugh it this at me time. Matt will laugh at me, because I'll be getting really frustrated, and I'll just be like shit, damn, shit, damn. And I'm like, I just, and I'm like, okay, now I'm good. Let's go on. Like, I just need to get it out. Yes, I know. It's so funny. But yeah, that was a funny, why would you even ask me that if I cuss in front of my kids? I don't know. It was just, it was a random question. Right. Like literally I was sitting there writing <laughs> questions yesterday and just popped in my head. There you go. So, cause I, cause I think probably because I had seen the article <laughs> and she was talking about right. it. So, you know, there's also an article that says that people that swear tend to be more intelligent. I believe that so shit. So what, what? We're like <laughs> Einstein. I am freaking the smartest person on the planet. <laughs> yo. I need that t-shirt too. Why do you keep saying yo? All your Kanye crap just kind of rubbed <laughs> off on me. If you can see. I'm I white. like his music, I am, not him. I am pretty fly for a white guy. Great. Now I'm going to have that <laughs> song in my head. Pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> We're going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap this up so we can uh, get this weekend started. Yes. Let's get this um, party started, right? Just a reminder about our blogs. I am at Never Drink From Mommy's Cup. And you are at... <laughs> I'm letting you speak. Why? What are you doing with your hands? This is my, like, my magician. Okay. Ooh. I have genuine in my head. I'm sorry. Oh, onefedupmommy.com. Onefedupmommy.com, which I am a lot of days. So appropriate on so many levels. Everything about that title is perfect. Yeah. Did you ever see Magic Mike? Hell no. Actually, I did. I'm I'm not going to lie. It was on TV the other night. We had HBO free for the weekend. Okay. So I flipped it over. We did? In bed, yeah. Oh, wait, you have Dish, don't you? I have DirecTV. Oh. And so I was like, you know, I, it was XXL. Right. It was the most bizarre shit I've ever seen in my that, life. That was the second one, right? That was the one where they're like they, doing on the road different trip. scenes on the stage. Like yes. pulling people. That So, so show listen, I've never seen the first one. Paint. It's not general, although he is. I was kind of mortified that mm. I watched that. Well, we were like, when, we, I, when I first moved back here is when the second one came out. So my friend, we have... We like to go to the movies together, but we make an effort to see really shitty movies. Like, we right. want to go to some, not shitty, but Corny. they're movies that you don't think about. Like, you right. just go and you laugh and you either laugh with them or at them or whatever. It's right. not, you know, no mind thought process whatsoever. <laughs> so, we went and see that and we're like, this is like, it is the corniest, almost pornographic yes. movie I've ever seen. And I saw Fifty Shades of Grey oh, at the movies. Oh, God. I didn't see any of which that. Which I went to that to make fun of it, too. Yes. But, um, <laughs> which that was also a really good time. How did they wash those? How did they sanitize them? Could she shave across or above her knee? I mean, it was, there's a bunch of things about that. Maybe we should do an episode on that. Anyway. Yeah, so I was going to tell you that Pony song, but you've seen it. And he's, like, in his little workshop dancing. Oh, I did not see that part. See, I That's flipped in the it beginning. over halfway through the movie. And I left it on just because I thought, you know, <coughs> I didn't even have the, the volume up. But right. The most bizarre. You don't need the volume so up. So bizarre. You literally missed nothing by having volume. It was the most, there was no plot to it. It was just super weird. It was a movie about stripping. Holy cow, it was weird. Which is fine. That's it. I is felt dirty it is. after I and watched it. And they've never, they've never tried to sell those movies as anything other than... Them stripping. Yeah. So, yeah. It's cool. They own it. That's fine. But that song, well, I forever think about that saying because I, <laughs> I'm not generally one to like uh, enjoy male strippers, but at the same time, him dancing in his little workshop to that song when it came on. Well, I actually. Very nice. That's what we did for my bachelorette party. We went we, to we went Cash's to stri- in Fort Walton Beach. We went to club. a strip club up in Canada. I literally have a picture of me, so freaking skinny, it's not even funny, I was so tiny, straddling the stripper's leg, and right. he was super hot. Perhaps I should take a picture of that and post it up. Oh my God, it. it was awesome. We went to, um, we took a limo across the border into Canada because the strip club's up there, they take everything off. No way. Yeah. Not like I would ever go, because that's just not my thing. It ended up being a little bit more disturbing than I really was prepared for. Like, he's shaking his I ring. was going to say, are they like 10-year-old the, boys helicoptering? Kind of, yeah. That's, I mean, it literally was, and our, I'll never forget, that our guy, the guy that paid the most, because we were there as a bachelorette party, so mm-hmm. there's always someone paying attention to you. His name was Cash. He was a 
sailor. I'm using quotation notes. <laughs> sailor. But he had literally the word cash tattooed across his butt. But it was basically him helicoptering his penis in my face for like half an hour. No, and it made me very nervous. I'm like, I don't know what's on there. I don't want it close. Like, what happens? Do not throw things out of it if you catch What happens dress. if you accidentally get close and like slap me across the face? I don't know. Mm-mm. I don't want stuff coming out of it at no. me either. It ended up being maybe a little bit more than we were prepared for. Like, maybe we should have stayed on our ah. side of the border. <laughs> Oh, that that would never do for me. It's the yeah. one and only time I've ever had Long Island iced teas. I can't handle Long Island oh, iced teas. Oh, they're gross. Yeah. They're awful. Yeah. Good times. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I won't be going to Canada to strip clubs. But let's just be honest. I don't like strip clubs anyway. No. Mm-hmm. They're not a good time. I know some very nice strippers, though. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> they're very nice. <laughs> All right, right. guys. Wait, we were actually, like, closing this show out, and then we started talking about... We're so random, so we're just going to title this one. Yeah, what the hell are we naming it? (laughs) We're so random. We're so random. Yeah. We should name it, like, Focus. Uh, uh, And lack thereof. We're so random. Yeah. We're we're random. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the show for this week. Please, please don't unfriend us. So anyway, I hope you have a great week. Make sure that you check out our blogs and, um, you know, you can always talk to us if you want to. Let yep. us know what you're thinking. Reach out to us on yep. Facebook. We we really like um, uh, interaction. Right. So if you guys have any ideas I, for we, any future we episodes. obviously could use some communication with people outside of this <laughs> office because we're getting a little stupid. <laughs> so, all right. Have a great week and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye.